Nityanandam. Uh, day before yesterday, I got a chance to sit with Ma Maheshwara. And uh, being a fashion designer, like I'm always uh, fond of dresses. And uh, as Swamiji said that uh, with the breadth dimension, uh, anything related to art and culture, you can anything ask. So I was just thinking, let me ask one of the dress from a traditional dress from India. But I want to ensure that it should not be like she should not see the dress. Manipur. And I asked her, uh, can you draw a traditional uh, dress of Manipur? Can uh, you just see the dress? Uh, this is a traditional uh, folk dance dress from Manipur and she drew exactly. Apart from this, like, uh, I just asked like, uh, where, I, where is my poor ashram, uh, where I used to live be before coming here. And uh, suddenly she said, it's a red fort. I was like, come on, I, I was not living in a red fort. So she said, no, no, I'm seeing a red building, just uh, it's a red fort. So then I realized just opposite to my poor ashram, uh, there is one of the Mughal emperor tomb is there, which is in red color, red color building. So she said, okay, come to the upper uh, next side and there is my place where I used to live. And then she started describing, you enter, where is the sofa, what is the color of the sofa, what is the curtain, window, everything, how many rooms, how many bathrooms, where is my puja room, like each and everything she described correctly. So it was so amazing <laughs> sitting with her. Nityanandam and the day before yesterday evening, Swamiji initiated us into the depth dimension where uh, like we just entered it where you can move the coconuts or crack them and break them open. Originally, I, I was trying to move the coconut and it, it wasn't moving actually. And then after that, I, I said, okay, Sadashiva is only going to do it. So um, it, let us be patient. So I, I waited for a few minutes and then I said, okay, let me entangle with the coconut and with Malis and let's see what happens. So I entangled with her and brought the oneness space into myself. And then when I, I just casually told the coconut to start lifting up and started doing the movements like this and it automatically started lifting up. And it was something like even I didn't expect. I was thinking, oh, it's anyway not going to work and all this thing is just my own some superstition and all that. So basically I understood that when we break the cognition that it's not us, it is Sadashiva who is doing it. Not only that you manifest powers, you even get a breakthrough in your, no, your original thought currents and you can see that there's a much different being living inside you which is just waiting to express out. Nityanandam. My name is Ronik. I am from Canada. I'm an engineering student in Simon Fraser University. I was recently sitting in the presence of my beloved master, Paramahamsa Swami Nityananda, and I had the fortune of interacting with Ma Vedishri, a Balasant. And I asked her a question that is, who is Terry Fox? She was like, uh, is that a person? She so she she did not even know who that person was, or whether it is a person or not. And I asked her to describe his statue in my university. Terry Fox has two distinct features, two actually more <laughs> distinct features. But so she was able to describe it completely, like accurately. In fact, she even drew a picture which I'm gonna project right here. It is this one. Uh, she drew the curly hair, she drew one leg was missing and that she was able to see that he was he had crutches on and an over oversized t-shirt and some logo on the t-shirt and shorts on. So that was really amazing. Then she was able to describe more than what I expected. That was really amazing. She said Terry Fox was a cancer patient. Uh, Due to cancer, he lost one of his legs. Every year, donations are collected for cancer patients to be treated. The money collected is given to the Red Cross Hospital. People also participate in the Terry Fox Run under the slogan, he ran so that others could live. That is, that is amazing. I would, I would like to thank Swamiji for, for having me in his presence and I am so blessed. Thank you, Swamiji. Thank you.